From cows with portholes to zombie dogs raised from the grave, and even the first dinosaurs to be created by scientists, here are 10 amazing creatures created by science. Number 10. Cow Portholes One of the strangest creatures created by science is a cow with a porthole. Yeah, you heard that right. Scientists have actually managed to install a porthole on the side of a cow. And while this bizarre creation is definitely being criticized by animal rights groups, especially in France, scientists are using them anyway. The portholes are essentially openings grafted onto the side of a particular cow that allows researchers to get direct access to the cow's stomach. A recent image of a cow with a porthole on its side was taken at a research facility in France at an experimental farm. The group who took the photograph is claiming animal cruelty, while the experts are actually saying cows that have portholes grafted onto them live longer lives. According to Jamie Newbold, the academic director at Scotland's Rural College, it's important to study the stomachs of cows if researchers are going to maximize food production and minimize the greenhouse gases created by these animals. By gaining direct access to a cow's stomach, it's now easy to take samples from inside. The operation is easy to do under anesthetic, and the cow will live far longer than any normal cow on the farm. And even though the cow will suffer pain because of the procedure, most of them will continue to live at least 15 years after the operation has been completed. Thanks to these portholes, experts have been able to improve the digestive health of millions of animals while reducing the use of antibiotics and lowering methane emissions linked to livestock, which, as you may know, is detrimental to the Earth's atmosphere. Number 9. Mutant Pigs China has scientifically engineered their very own mutant pigs, and they may help the country from suffering a pork apocalypse. These pigs were created inside a fortress mega farm near Beijing. The hogs were experimentally fortified with a special gene to help them regulate heat and to keep them safe from brutal winters of northern China. According to Bloomberg, the experimental gene was used by researcher Jingguo Zhao and inserted directly into the DNA of dozens of experimental pigs. The result has been super pigs. What's really interesting is that the experiments aren't simply to make pigs taste better or grow faster, but to keep them alive longer. Researchers actually want to make healthier pigs. This comes as scientists all over the country are racing to develop better crops through genetic manipulation and to get rid of mutations inside of livestock, such as pigs, that can cause viruses and infections. What's even more fascinating is that Chinese scientists used CRISPR technology, a tool designed for editing genes in all kinds of different animals, to make at least 40 successful genetic mods to their pigs. Number 8. Human-Monkey Hybrid Scientists claim to have created the first ever hybrid of a human and a monkey inside a secret laboratory in China. These researchers are looking to use animals to grow organs for humans, and they say that creating this hybrid abomination was a critical first step. These same scientists, according to a report from The Independent, are pledging to continue with their experiments using primates. They apparently injected human stem cells directly into a monkey embryo. Human stem cells are notorious for their ability to create any type of tissue. Theoretically, human stem cells inside of a monkey embryo could result in some kind of missing link type of monster. And depending on what exactly your views are, you might be pleased to know that the experiment was actually halted before the embryo was old enough to be born. That doesn't mean the embryo would have been a failure, though. It definitely could have been born, at least according to the Spanish scientists who were holding the trial in China because of a ban on such pseudoscience in their home country. There were too many ethical concerns raised over the trial, specifically that the human stem cells could have migrated into the developed brain, creating something that scientists can barely even comprehend. Still, the results of this experiment were promising. Scientists are now convinced that if they combine human stem cells with DNA from pigs or rats or monkeys, they can grow organs to be used in human transplants. And if someone will let them, they could theoretically create a monkey or a pig hybrid with the mind of a human. Try to wrap your mind around that. Number 7. Dog Clones Scientists can clone animals. Some of the weirdest creatures created by science are actually as ordinary as your pet dog. For example, a California couple recently paid $50,000 to clone their dog Marley after he tragically passed away. They were not ready to say goodbye to their Labrador, so they decided to go ahead and initiate the cloning process. And according to the new owners of their clone dog, who they named Ziggy, both dogs are basically identical. Ziggy has an uncanny resemblance to Marley and even plays with the exact same toys and exhibits the exact same personality traits. It was as if Marley died and was reincarnated as a puppy. And these are not the only people who did this. Barbara Streisand did the exact same thing, and it's been going on in South Korea for years. In California, the cloning process was done through a company called Viagen Pets. The process was done by taking tissue from the dead animal and then creating new living cells from the tissue sample. These new living cells are then placed inside the nucleus of a new female dog's egg. 
The egg and cells join together, the embryo grows, a surrogate mother is used to produce a natural birth, and the result is a cloned dog that is basically an identical twin. This company has a one-year waiting list of people eagerly anticipating their cloned pets. And while it costs a hefty sum of $50,000 right now, experts anticipate the price dropping significantly in the next 10 years. Would you clone your pet? Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 6. Glowfish Glowfish are aquarium pets that are the result of years of scientists studying bioluminescence. This process occurs naturally in nature when two chemicals inside of a living organism work together to produce a special light that gives any particular animal a strong advantage for survival. Hatchet fish use bioluminescence to trick predators, and vampire squids are able to shoot bioluminescent mucus to startle predators, kind of like shooting glowing bullets. Then you have glowing plankton, glowworms, and even coral. Now we also have glowfish, designed by scientists and housed inside thousands of aquariums all over the world. These fish were designed in Singapore. Scientists were hoping to use fluorescent fish to detect toxins in water to depollute waterways for local communities. The point of making fish fluorescent was for them to glow when in the presence of toxins. This would have let fish be natural detectors of polluted rivers and waterways. The first genetically engineered fluorescent aquarium fish was the starfire red danio but there have since been at least 12 additional species added to the roster of glowing fish. They appear completely normal in regular lighting, but glow brilliantly when placed under a blue light. In a completely dark room and under a black light, they basically look like swimming stars. Number 5. Naked Chickens Scientists in Israel managed to breed a featherless chicken. Yes, naked chickens look positively terrifying, but there are many advantages for poultry farms. Specifically, poultry farms are very interested in naked chickens because it takes away the need to pluck them. This is a whole lot less work in an industry that wants to breed, kill, and sell chickens as quickly as possible. According to the scientists who bred this new species, the birds are not at all harmful to people's health. They also grow faster and have lower fat in their meat. Professor Avigdor Kahaner from the Agricultural Institute in Rehovot, where these chickens were created, says that the birds offer higher advantages as well because they don't require air conditioning in warmer conditions. The only issue would be cold countries because naked chickens can't adapt to cold climates. You wouldn't be able to breed bald chickens in places like Russia or Scandinavia. Scientists do admit that it might be difficult for featherless chickens to breed because without feathers, the mating ritual will become very painful for the lady chickens. The rooster could easily injure a hen with its beak or claws because the hen has no feathers to protect herself. As it is, roosters already have the nails of two of their fingers cut off because they routinely scratch and injure hens. Number 4. The Ear Mouse the ear mouse, also known as the Vacanti mouse, was a freaky experiment in which scientists literally grew a human ear underneath the skin of a mouse. You might remember this from a certain South Park episode. Well, it happened in real life too. In the late 90s, this was the epitome of mad science. Charles Vacanti wanted to create human body parts inside his laboratory. He and his team were experimenting with something called biodegradable scaffolding. These were structures that could be grown inside of an animal's body in any particular shape, but would then dissolve, not harming the animal. Researchers created a biodegradable scaffolding in the form of a human ear. Then they injected it with cells of cartilage that they took from a cow. Cartilage is the rigid tissue that you have on your nose and ears. Next came the mouse. The mouse was given an anesthetic, a surgical incision was made along its back, and the ear-shaped scaffolding was placed under its skin. The cow cartilage cells were fed by the mouse's system, the scaffolding dissolved, and what remained was the shape of a human ear built out of cartilage underneath the mouse's skin. This type of procedure is not used anymore to create human body parts. However, it was the first step on a road to growing missing body parts, a road that is allowing scientists to grow replacement organs in laboratories today. Number 3. Landmine Plants A genetically engineered plant was created by scientists to detect landmines hidden in the soil. As crazy as this sounds, it's 100% true. The plant works by changing color when close to an explosive, and this could help to prevent deaths and injuries because of unexploded mines left behind after a war. The plant is a modified tail crest that's sensitive to nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide is usually released by underground landmines. By genetically modifying the plants to shift from green to red when growing in the presence of nitrogen dioxide gases, it becomes an easy way to pinpoint where a landmine is hidden under the soil. But this isn't an overnight solution. It takes at least three to five weeks of growth for the plant to change from green to red. This is according to a scientific advisor from the University of Copenhagen who advised on the project. The plant has worked well in field tests, but has yet to be implemented in the real world. It's unclear how effective the methods will be, but still a pretty fascinating advancement in natural technology all the same. Number 2. Birth of the Dinosaurs In recent news, scientists have come forward with the assertion that they'll be able to create dinosaurs within the next decade. Yes, Jurassic Park could become a reality. 
This is coming from the acclaimed paleontologist Jack Horner, the very man whom Alan Grant from the Jurassic Park movie franchise was based on. Jack believes that we are a minimum of five years away from bringing dinosaurs to life. He thinks that researchers will soon use DNA from an ordinary chicken to bring back legends of the past. This is because birds are actually dinosaurs, with chickens being the closest relative of the T-Rex. The research team is already working on mutating chickens to make them appear more like their dinosaur ancestors. One of the craziest mutations that they've already successfully done is to change a chicken's beak into a snout. Jack has called this creation the Chickensaurus. And while we're still a far way off from birthing a 40-foot-long, 12-meter reptile monster and building a park full of velociraptors, the Chickensaurus is definitely a good first step. Number 1. Zombie Dogs Zombie dogs are real. They don't eat brains and they don't turn other dogs into zombies, but they do come back from the dead. One of the craziest things that scientists have been able to do with animals is literally bring them back from death. It's something being called reversible death, or what science fiction fans might recognize as suspended animation. Researchers have managed to take a dog, drain its blood, replace the blood with a saline solution, add some necessary glucose, then cool the solution to about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point, the dog's heart has stopped and so has its brain activity. However, the body is cool. The dog is in a state of suspended animation. It doesn't have a single drop of blood in its body and is, for all intents and purposes, deceased. The next part is to bring the animal back to life. This is done by replacing the saline solution with oxygenated blood, raising the temperature of the body, and then restarting the dog's heart. This is the reversible death. And yes, the process I just talked about has been done. Out of 14 dogs put through the process, every single one of them survived. Four dogs showed sign of brain trauma, but the other 10 dogs seemed completely fine. Believe it or not, killing and resurrecting dogs is the first step toward putting human beings into states of suspended animation. Be ready to wake up in the year 3020. Thanks for watching. How do you feel about dinosaurs being brought back to life? Let me know in the comments down below and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more mind-blowing videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.